Hello students, in today's video on antidiarrheals part 3, we will discuss concept of uh, probiotics and their use in the management of diarrhea. Now, as we all know, various types of uh, microorganisms called as gut flora are inhabitants of human gastrointestinal tract. Now, majority of these microorganisms live in the large intestine that is in the colon. Now, majority of gut bacteria are non-pathogenic and they aid in the metabolism of nutrients, drugs and prevent colonization of pathogenic microorganisms. That means they prevent growth of pathogenic bacteria and strengthen immunity of the body. Now, most of these microorganisms are beneficial. For example, bifidobacterium and lactobacillus. But some are harmful, for example, Salmonella species, Helicobacter pylori, Clostridium perfringens, etc. Now, illness like uh, gastrointestinal tract infections, human immunodeficiency virus like uh, that is uh, HIV, Hepatitis B virus, use of antibiotics, alter gut microflora. Now, these diseases, uh, diseases like uh, HIV, diseases like hepatitis B virus and the use of antibiotics reduce the population of beneficial bacteria and thus bad bacteria can thrive in the gastrointestinal tract and this results in gut bacteria imbalance. So recolonization of gut by beneficial bacteria for example lactic acid producing bacteria restores healthy gut flora. So what, is, what are probiotics? Probiotics are microbial preparations, either live cultures or lyophilized powder of beneficial bacteria intended to restore and maintain healthy gut flora. Thus, probiotics are dietary supplements containing live beneficial bacteria in adequate amounts that strengthen digestive system provide immunity to body and confer health benefit on the host. Now, organisms most commonly used are lactobacillus species, bifidobacterium, streptococcus faecalis and enterococcus species. Now, yogurt is a natural rich source of probiotics. Now, let's talk about the beneficial actions of uh, probiotics. Probiotics restore healthy gut flora. They inhibit and prevent colonization of pathogenic bacteria, for example, candida, by producing inhibitory substances like lactic acid, hydrogen peroxide, and natural antibodies. Now, probiotics enhance absorption of calcium and they also enhance peristaltic movements. Now, probiotics enhance digestion and absorption of nutrients, water, and electrolytes. Now, some of the beneficial bacteria synthesize vitamin K, biotin, vitamin B12, folic acid, and thymine. Now, by regulating balance of uh, gut microflora, probiotics regulate bowel movements, relieving constipation as well as diarrhea. Now, since probiotics strengthen the immunity of colon by restoring growth of beneficial bacteria, they reduce the risk of colon cancer. Now, probiotics significantly reduce antibiotic associated diarrhea, acute infective diarrhea and risk of traveler's diarrhea. Now, let's uh, discuss role of probiotics in the management of diarrhea that is probiotics as antidiarrheals. Now, even though probiotics significantly reduce antibiotic associated diarrhea, acute infective diarrhea and risk of traveler's diarrhea, strong convincing evidence of their efficacy in diarrhea is lacking. And therefore, probiotics are not accepted as a standard component of diarrhea therapy. Now, even though probiotics are very beneficial, they are very beneficial for the gastrointestinal tract as well as for the entire body. But these probiotics can rarely cause systemic infections, acidosis and excessive immune stimulation in immunocompromised patients, that is patients with poor immunity. For example, 
ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी वायरस सो दिस इज इन ब्रीफ ऑन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ प्रोबायोटिक्स एंड देर रोल इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ डायरिया ना इफ यू फाइंड द वीडियो यूजफुल कैंडी लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो